Okay, I just kicked off the print. I didn't think to start this video till now, but here we go. I had mentioned to you how I was going to show you what I do. So, in Orca Slicer, I set jerk to zero and I set acceleration to zero. That way, if I go to my display configuration, I can go to advanced settings. If you look at jerk, see how it's defaulted at five? And it'll stay that way the entire way through the print until I change it here. Also, if you go down to acceleration, right now, acceleration is only at 500. Travel acceleration is only at 500. And I leave it that way for the first layer. Also, for the first layer, I go to the tune menu and I come down here to flow. See how I have it at 101 right now. But for the first layer, I turn it to 105. And then when it gets to the second layer, which it's on now, I'm experimenting. I turned it back to 101. And then for the next layer, I'm going to turn it back to 98 for the rest of the print because that's where I usually like it anyhow back to acceleration so now that I'm past the first layer and I'm on second layer I go to configuration advanced settings I come down here to jerk and I'm gonna turn it up this time I'm just gonna do it to six because I don't want to get too much ringing I can take it as high as I want to though anyhow acceleration is where we're gonna go so you can't turn it any higher than 500 and the reason being and same with travel and the reason being is because you have limits down here so I'm gonna turn the limit up and the reason you have limits is because I don't want it taking off in the initial layer so I make sure everything stays slow because otherwise travel it'll take off and it just leaves for a shitty layer. So anyways, we'll just turn this into 2500. Let's turn this one up to 2500. I mean you can go up to whatever you want. But here's 2500. That doesn't do anything for printing at this moment. But it now allows me to go up here to acceleration. And I can turn this up to let's just say 650. I can go way high if I choose to but travel acceleration I'm gonna turn that up to 2500 and that should now get things going by having the travel acceleration up high like that that'll help eliminate stringing and such so that's why I set my orca default acceleration to zero and default jerk I set to zero that way th I change it throughout the print and then it doesn't revert back the next layer it stays at what I set it at so I don't know if anybody else can find this helpful actually while I'm on the topic I also use firmware retraction and I tune that throughout the print so here we are with that enabled I'll go down here, configuration, and here's my retract. And you'll see for this particular type of filament, it's co-extrusion, dual color, and it's very gummy and such, so I lower retraction. It's at 0 0.18. Retraction is at 35 millimeters, and I can fine-tune my Z-Hop. I'm not using any Z-Hop. Um, so... Like I said, here we have, and that's how I do my adjusting. If I find I'm getting stringing, I come in here and I fine tune. If I'm getting stringing also, I'll go into the tune menu and the nozzle, and I'll turn down the temperature a degree or two, or adjust fan speed or, or whatever else. Linear advance is another one. Right here is how you adjust that. That's what the K value is. I like to usually use 0 0.02. It seems to give me some nice crisp edges. I am using a micro Swiss clone, but these are my settings. And 
Hopefully somebody finds this helpful.